Here's the deal. I built the world's first real life spanker, the rocket launcher from Halo, and all these rockets so that I can show you what this thing can do. I made a lot of stuff because we had some really awesome plans for what to do. So we took it all out to a field and got set up, including an eight by eight foot bullseye. And I boresighted the launcher with a laser that I put on it to see where I'd be aiming. But the sun was really bright that day. I can't see the laser. Do you see it? <laughs> Dude, I can't see it at all. I see nothing. So we're off to a great start. The very first thing that could possibly go wrong went wrong. Guess I'm gonna eyeball it. That rocket misfired, but it is the spanker and it's got two. So I tried again. And that rocket flew really straight. Straight into the ground. So I'm 0 for 3. Can't see the laser, misfire, rocket into the ground. But I was trying to stay positive, so I figured I'd try the new remix of the Halo design with the optimized nose cone but the game accurate body. Failed again. And then that one misfired also. Maybe if Master Chief was here, he'd be able to get this thing to work. Wait, Jairus, look over there. So I got another one of the Halo rockets ready. And I guess because it's Master Chief, it worked and it fired for him. But I didn't put enough weight in the nose of that rocket. So it was a little unstable. And then the launcher started to malfunction. It wouldn't index when you turned it on or shut the lid. Since everything was going so well, we decided to just pack it in for the day. My dreams have been dashed. Then I had things that I had to fix. And the easiest one is the laser because I was using this red one and I switched it to this green one, which is much brighter and much easier to see outside. And then I fixed the launcher, which only took five minutes. I thought it was gonna take forever, but it was just one of the limit switch wires had come off at its solder joint. Next was the rockets misfiring. I'll show you what was going on. This is a spent igniter and these are spent motors, but I can still demonstrate with it. The igniter has to be completely bottomed out in the rocket. If it moves back even a little bit, it doesn't go off. When the launcher was getting handled or the tubes were spinning, just that little bit of motion was causing those igniters to back out just a tiny bit. So I invented these. They're retainer caps for the different rocket motors that snap on and then I can put the igniter in and once it's bottomed out, I can glue it in place and they actually hold tight enough that I can hold the whole rocket by the wires and it won't come out. But when that thrust goes off, whoop, it blows it off. And the same thing for this, just a different design because it's a different size motor. So these tiny little 3D printed parts mean no more misfires, ever. And since the rockets weren't flying very well, I redesigned all of them also. First of which is this one because this was still headed towards the ground when it came out of the tube, even with the better stability and stronger wires. So I designed this and I call it the Warnat. This rocket used these wires to keep it parallel in the launch tube, whereas this uses more contact area between the fin and the launch tube to keep it parallel. This also needed weight in the nose cone to make it be stable, whereas this one uses the rocket motor itself as the weight in the nose to be stable. So it's a far lighter rocket that goes faster and I twisted the fins two degrees so that it's spin stabilized. Unfortunately, when I went to test this, as soon as I turned the launcher on, it fired the rocket because the trigger was broken, which means I have another thing to fix. But the rocket flew really great. I just cannot bring myself to give up on the Halo Design rocket. And I know what went wrong when Master Chief fired his. I took a bunch of weight out of the nose to try to make it as fast as possible. And even though when I string tested it was stable, it obviously wasn't when it came out of the launcher. So I added a whole bunch of weight back into the nose. And I put tabs on the fins to make it spin stabilize itself. And that fired like a laser. And the really cool folding fin design from the last video had only been fired once and it flew great, but that could have been a fluke. So we fired it again, especially because I put flaps on those fins so that it would spin stabilize also. And that again, flew very straight and stable. And it didn't go very far, but that's because I wasn't aiming very high. I made something really cool. Let me show you. This is my hand-drawn blueprint of my rocket launcher. I used pencils to freehand draw everything on this. I recreated every single detail of the launcher in this drawing. I also included information about its quirks and features and information about its construction. And I think it turned out to be a really cool piece of technical art, which is why I'm gonna hang this up on my wall 
and you can too, because there are prints available of this in my store. I did an extremely high resolution scan of this to replicate every little smudge and little bit of dirt and every detail so that your print is an exact replica of this and looks like it was hand drawn too, not just some cleaned up digital version. Speaking of digital, all of the digital files that I use to create the real rocket launcher are available on my website also. And the great thing about this and those files and this t-shirt, it's a great way for you to support the channel and for us to be able to essentially give something back to you for helping support us. Now back to shooting rockets. So I made several of the new designs of rockets and went back out to the field with the eight foot bullseye to try again. And first, I wanted to fire three of the Warnats to see if I could get a good grouping on the target. Here goes nothing. Oh. That was awesome <laughs> to finally have it. Man, that feels like Halo. That's so cool. I'm not even mad that I missed, but both of them went left. So that means I could just dial the laser in and I'll be able to hit the board with the next one. So I adjusted the laser over to where the first two had flown to try to get the third one to hit. Here we go. That one went high and right. Those might not be terribly consistent because if I hadn't adjusted the laser, I think it would have nailed dead center. It's also quite windy today. So many variables with rockets. And if you noticed, all three of these were doing the whirly gig corkscrew thing through the air, which is the whole reason I didn't want to put spin stabilization on the rockets because it makes them look like they're a toy. But I fired the halo rockets. Because of the spin, I put a stripe on these so that we can see how much they're rotating when we fire them. I threw two of those into the launcher and crossed my fingers that I could actually hit the target this time. Here we go. Victory. One went a little right, so I aimed a little left, and that one went a little left. <laughs> but I finally hit the target, and she went clean through. Then I loaded up my folding fin design, and these rockets were the ones that I had the most confidence in to nail the target. Lasers on. Here we go. Fire. Woo! Here we go. Oh! <laughs> Those flew so awesome. Again, you'd think I'd be upset because I didn't hit the target, but I'm not because it looks so cool. <laughs> it's just hard to hit a target, even a big one like that without guidance. Because that's why real rocket launchers cost a couple hundred thousand dollars and I made these in my garage. Those rockets looked truly incredible flying on those smokeless Enerjet motors. You could see the folding fins come open so clearly. Unfortunately, they didn't fly nearly as straight, stable, or spin like the other ones had, which means they're probably gonna need a redesign too with the other rockets also. But for now, I hit that target one time and I'm gonna count that as a win. Plus just shooting the rockets was a lot of fun. And so was drawing the Spanker blueprint. So much so that I'd like to draw more blueprints. So it'd be great if you could let me know which past or future projects you'd like to see me turn into a blueprint for you. Hey, Master Chief, uh, I got those rockets working a lot better. I was thinking you might want to come out for a little competition, a little red versus blue. 